Hey everybody, this is John Lemesny. I am beercritic.wordpress.com and tonight uh, I just came back from a uh, store that opened in Northeast Philadelphia that um, they were having a grand opening and they are new, they're a new bottle shop uh, and they are also the same people who own the beer outlet which I talk about in um, uh, various places, I've I've reviewed them. They're near Franklin Mills in uh, again in Northeast Philadelphia, just inside the border. And uh, so anyway, the the beer outlet is just cases. They're a distributor. The craft beer outlet is a bottle shop with a wall of fridges. Just a beautiful idea. Walk in there and you'll be amazed at the selection. Um, what we're looking at here is Ballast Points Sculpin, an IPA, and I've only ever had it once, and it, the one time I had it, it was in a Firkin, and the Firkin was at the um, infamous, for me, uh, Bella Vista Grand Reopening, where they moved across the street. All this is to say that this is a very important beer to me. Um, really a I think a taste changing beer and uh, since I've had it on tap and I, that's the way I remember it this this may not meet that same expectation but um, I have no doubt I'm going to enjoy this beer tonight so without further ado uh, let's go ahead and take care of some of my photography I am uh, not crazy about the the fish motif. I, I don't eat fish myself, and so when I look at fish, I mean I think they're beautiful, but um, you know I I don't. It doesn't make me salivate to look at this fish. <laughs> Let's go ahead and look at the back of it. This is a uh, 22 fluid ounce, a bomber. And um, it is 7% ABV, I believe. I know there's an indication on here somewhere. Yeah, 7% ABV right there. So, but more than anything, I'm just thrilled to have the opportunity to taste this again. So, Let's get to that. So this is not a um, tulip, as you might expect, and I do have several tulips, but what this is, is this is basically my favorite um, drinking glass. This is sort of my personal, personally enjoyable glass for enjoying brews that I really like. So anyway, I was telling you about this, uh, this new bottle shop. It is on Frankfurt Avenue, uh, right near Holy Family College in Northeast Philadelphia. And I'd recommend you go visit Mark because he's doing something really beautiful there for people who enjoy this kind of brew. Let's listen to the crack. Very nice. Beautiful aroma exactly what you'd expect from a nice IPA. So, nice aggressive pour beautiful, brilliant, uh, relatively light amber, that's surprising, and um, a very bright white head. I'm going to let this raise up a little bit in its body and maybe pour a little bit more too. Pretty body. 
as I've said recently, I really like when a beer is so brilliant you can see that under part of its head. Nice tight bubbles. A very thick, tight white head. And my favorite glass. And you know what? I'm not even going to repour because it's time to taste. A very, very brilliantly clear blue, bright yellow, um, a very sticky head, thick, tight bubbles. I'm really looking forward to tasting this. That is a beautiful, beautiful brew. Aroma is citrus. The aroma is grassy fields. The aroma is sandy. I'm thinking like beaches. There's some salt. Beautifully carbonated. Not overly active with its carbonation, but very nice. Let's taste it. bright, crisp, malty. It sticks to your tongue. Sweetness emerges. Middle finish is uh, bittering. Grows more bitter as it rests on the palate. Very long finish. Very bitter. Um, deliciously so. Exactly what I expect from my PA. A little bit of sourness, but not much. It's astringent. Um, the texture is soapy, but the flavor is not. It is beautiful. It's just amazing. Really, really nice. When I had it before, um, because it was in the firkin, it was it was oaked, I believe. I mean, I guess it was stored that way. But um, regardless, it had a much different flavor, but. This is not anything but delicious. This is really, really good. At 7% ABV, uh, this bomber will be uh, about 400 calories and worth every calorie. I mean, it's really, really beautiful. That head is not going anywhere. It's like a milkshake. Um, I would say that this is one of the most beautiful IPAs I have ever seen. The head is just, I mean, remarkable. It, I've never seen bubbles that tight. I've never seen ongoing carbonation like that. Uh, the way that it sticks to the glass, the lacing is, is amazing. The flavor is a classic IPA, um, but extremely well balanced. I would say that if you like IPAs, you must find this one and go enjoy it. I want to cry. It's so good. Anyway, thank you so much for sharing this with me. And uh, thank you to Mark and the Craft Brew Outlet on Franklin uh, Frankfurt Avenue in Northeast Pennsylvania, right near Holy Family. Um, I wish you guys great success. To success to you. Thanks.